Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kinsey. Today we're going to Barnes & Noble, if you couldn't tell by the title of today's video. I just really need a restock on some good thriller YA books. That is the type of genre I like and that's what I'm going to be searching for. I don't really have a set idea what books I'm actually going to get besides one. I just plan on looking around and seeing what catches my eyes and we're going to pick it up. I'm probably going to be spending a bag. Hopefully I don't do too much damage, but let's go ahead and get into it. Also, little rant. If you don't want to hear it, just skip to this time for the aesthetic book vlog. I was getting gas before I started driving. I pull up to the pump and some lady was on the other side of the pump and she realized that her gas tank was on the opposite side. So her dumbass starts to reverse as soon as I'm parked and she gets mad at me because her dumbass was on the wrong side. Anyway, she starts waving her hands like, girl, Fucking coochie gremlin. Fucking wave my hands in your face. Was mad at me because I was on her side in her unassigned parking spot. My girl. Who's old too? I have an old people phobia or some shit. I hate old people with a passion. They're so, ooh. Some of them I love. I love when they say like sweetheart or it's okay love or whatever. But that was my little rant. Coochie gremlin. Coochie. Stay mad. You raisin. Let's examine this table. Aren't these like YA thrillers? Yeah. YA thrillers. This one was like Criminal Minds though. Like I've seen a lot about this one. Because the YouTubers that I watch, they're a bunch of like romance whores, so. <laughs> oh yeah, this is where like the, the five students go into detention. Yeah. yeah, and then one of them And dies. then one of them dies and you figure out which one among them is the, the killer. Oh, this one I bought too. Was it good? I've not read it. it. <laughs> I've not read it. The Cousins. I've never heard of The Cousins. Oh, that sounds a little kinky. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Oh my. She thick. The cover is so pretty, the sparkly one. Yeah, this was like the romance I wanted to try. I wasn't obsessed with The Housemaid, in popular opinion. I heard like a lot of, a lot of people like this one. I hated it. Oh, you read it? Yeah. I did not like it. Why? Cause it did it so end bad? Stupid. No, it was so. Oh, also the ending was oh. so stupid. Cause I feel like I was gaslighted the whole time. This one I've just heard so much mixed reviews about. You either love it or you hate it. I kind of wanted to hop on the oh. Colleen Hoover train and get this one. How about Archer's Voice too? I heard a lot about that one too. Lots really of good one, stuff. Really, that one made people cry. I don't know if I would want to cry. This one too. I've heard made people cry. The cartoon covers. I don't. I don't understand the hype. You don't understand. Oh. This one I heard is like the like it thriller book. This one, I think I want. Flicker in the dark. <laughs> Pretty girl, I heard this was like a terrifying, a terrifying thriller. Trigger warning, yeah. Like it's very graphic. Mm -hmm. Sounds like his arm was cut off. Yeah. His leg was cut off. Like that's right. Oh, Sager. These are the ones. This is oh. the one. Have you seen about these? You have seen I about these. I want to try that one. I heard the other one. This is the last one. I think there's more over there. I don't remember seeing it over there. <laughs> Where's all her books? <laughs> like she gets trapped in a van, and then yeah, and some other girl tries helping her out. But I don't want it in a a dwarf book. Where's the big versions? Oh, every summer after, I've heard a lot of people talk. Beatreads is like the top one I've heard about. Oh, I've heard a lot about these too. These are like remakes of them. Um, this one's like the Lion King. They like fall in love with the villain. God, I wanted to read this one. Oh my God. Okay, this one and this one I wanted to try. And that one. Oh my God. <laughs> You try to describe a book with not a fake accent. Though I did in fact spend a bag. First book I'm going to be talking about is called The Naturals. I heard Larry Reeds talk a lot about this book and she was the main reason I wanted to pick this up. It's about a detective 
No, it's not. This book is about five students and they are trying to solve cold cases and they each have a specific power. Like one of them is statistics and one of them is detecting if people are lying. So they each have a certain power that helps them each crack these cold cases that they're trying to solve and as they're doing it murders and all these crazy things start happening as they're trying to figure out the cold cases i don't know much about it because i haven't read it but larry reads raves about this book i think i've seen her talk about it like five times like it is ridiculous how much she's talked about this book so that means i had to get it the next book i got was lock every door by riley sager I have not read any Riley Sager books. I've heard great things about this author and that she's some people's favorite thriller author. So I really wanted to give it a Is shot. It I think it's a boy. I think it's a boy, right? Comment down below. Oh, it's a girl. Riley Sager, this book is, it's basically like a job application. You stay in a penthouse. And basically in the penthouse, you're not allowed to talk to any residents or anything. It's a guy. It's a guy talk to any residents or anything while you're staying in this penthouse and all you have to do is sleep in the penthouse nothing else you just sleep in the penthouse for god knows what reason but i will find out talking to these residents and no one's responding to her this person that was once in one of the rooms disappears and she's trying to figure out like why are they disappearing why is no one talking to me why aren't we allowed to talk to people she's just trying to figure out what's going on and yeah the next book i have is the house across the lake by once again riley sager i really wanted to give this author a try so basically she just spies on the neighbors and then the wife there's a wife and a husband and the wife somehow gets into a situation where she's drowning and casey she saves her which sparks a relation or a friendship not relationship a friendship between the two and then they grow a close bond as she's continuing to watch them the wife disappears and she immediately suspects that the husband did it because as their friends she talks about how the relationship isn't as good as it seems the next one is a flicker in the dark in this so this book is about chloe whenever she was little when she was 12 16 teenage girls went missing and her dad admits that he was the one behind the missing females why is that bitch staring at me so this book follows the main character called chloe and basically these teenage girls start going missing one by one and later on her dad ends up confessing that he was the one behind all of this and he gets life in prison and once she's older and she has a job and she's a psychologist as she has this new job more girls start disappearing and she starts to think that it's a copycat and someone who could be close with her who knows her past history about her dad mm -hmm. this book i got was verity by colleen hoover and i didn't really want to get her book because she's a very controversial controversial author like you either love her or you hate her i don't really know what it's about but i just thought i'd get it and try one of her books the next book i got was home before dark also by riley sager so this book is about maggie and her dad passes away so she inherits this house and she's basically renovating the house and as she's doing it she comes across all these secrets and haunty scary things that's going on in the house. Her dad also had this journal and it was basically about all these strange twisted things that were happening in the house. And as she's in the house, she starts to believe that they're coming true because they are happening again. Anyways, that is the end of today's video. If you have any thriller recommendations or any romantic or fantasy recommendations, I heard Fourth Wing is a really, really, really popular one right now. So I'm definitely going to get my hands on that whenever I see it or come across it. Please let me know what you think down below. What you think about the books. Have you read them? Are they good? Are they nail biting? Let me know. Anyways, peace.